Uh, hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22 or 23, something like that, of the Legal Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Uh, today, I'm doing my seven mile easy. Um, I don't really have much to add. I just wanted to say that it's okay to have easy days. Uh, if you have an easy farm today, it's okay. Just keep going, you know? And yeah. And rest a little bit, use the time to rest. And that's it. All right, let's go. Uh, hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. Thanks for watching uh, the intro. Today is day 23. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, so I did the seven miles easy. Took a shot. <laughs> We're still, oh, excuse me, way tired. But uh, we'll see. Uh, random news, though. Ooh, I dropped some stuff. I got my new shiny iPhone. It's still in, in the box. So I'm waiting for my case to come in. I don't know, it's kind of funny because I feel like uh, when, when I was younger, like, you know, everything you just tear apart and be like, oh, I'm so excited getting you know, XYZ and now I'm just like, it's fine. I'm still using my old phone where even the case is falling apart uh, and, I'm, eh, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't really matter, right? Uh, but, uh, but yeah, I don't know. Anyway, uh, I don't have much to say today. Just, yeah, keep things easy. Uh, um, yeah, let's take a look at today's farm web 165, compare version numbers. Given two version strings, version 1, 2, compare them. A version string consists of re revisions separated by dots, okay? Um, I think the key thing to, yeah, you, yeah, I mean, I think you just have to kind of, um, do like a pair, is it a pairwise? Um, uh, like a pair-to-pair -pair comparison, right? So maybe you can have them just convert them into like maybe you have a helper function that converts them into numbers, right? So maybe you have um, you have a string, you just return um, int x for x in s dot split of period, right? So then now you split the period, you return uh, int, and then maybe you convert it to a list, right? And then now you can just return oh, is there a compare function in Python? I always forget. Huh. Like, like, I know that there's like a compare function and a lot of other things, but, oh, well, it's fine, right? So then you could just write if, uh, <clears throat> or maybe just like, um, v1, v2 is you go to convert version 1, convert version 2, and then, yeah, with Python, you can actually just do if they're the same, then we return 0, else if v1 is greater than v2 then we return 1 because that's what they tell you to do and then return negative 1 and that's it should be pretty straightforward face palm uh oh oh huh that's actually hmm oh actually so i was wrong about this part um hmm how would i actually Okay, I mean, uh, I didn't know that the, the uh, missing one would be zero. Uh, I mean, it's still not a hard problem, honestly. The, the reason why I'm uh, just like, eh, is because I wanted to, it, my code to look cool and not to think about how to uh, uh, fix this, right? But, um, right? Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> maybe there isn't. I mean, maybe we, we just kind of, you know, just write it out, right? Which is fine. But, uh, no, um, because it's supposed to be zero, right? I mean, there is like a sip longer thing, but I forget what it's called. Maybe just it is just called sip longer, um, with a default or something, but, um, hmm. I mean, it's fine, right? I mean, yeah, the other way is just, eh, you know. We won. Link for B2. And then, so that, that would be something. And then now we just have another pad function. But this is like now very long, so I feel like very sad. Uh, right?
Someone like this, maybe, right? Um, which is zero. Yeah. Eh. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, it's not that much that interesting of a poem, but I was trying to, uh, <laughs> I don't know, write something cool, but I end up not. So, I mean, it's fine. As long as you get it working, maybe I should not prematurely. How did I write it before? Oh, yeah, okay. I mean, oh, I did it the other way, but removing trailing zeros. That probably is better, actually. That would have made it the code cleaner um, because, you know, did, 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 did. but, um, but that was five years ago. Why do I, why, why do I, sometimes when I click on certain things, it shows up on different windows. It's always wild. Neat code. Uh, yeah, this time I, this one, I basically did what I did today. It's kind of interesting to see where my progression is. And I don't know. So I guess today is the, well, today I use a function, but it's the same thing. So I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I guess I never did do the, removing the trail zero thing again for some reason, but uh, yeah. All right, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. This is obviously linear time, linear space, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.